Hello, thank you for joining me today. What I'm going to be doing today is making a self-centering jig for marking out a centre line along a piece of wood. Um, some people like myself uh, are not too clever at doing maths and working out like equal sides or where the middle is. So, say you take a, a piece of wood and it's an odd size, it's going to be hard for some people to find out where the middle line is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these jigs, I'm going to make three of them. Um, the first one is six inches, then the second one is going to be eight inches and the third one is going to be twelve inches for when you want to do a wider board. So all you're going to need for this is three pieces of wood you're going to need an 8mm drill bit, this is the one, the size I'm using because I'm using dowels, which are 8mm dowels or if you've got your own lengths of dowels you can use that by all means and cut them to your own size so I think these are 10mm dowels so you'd need a 10mm drill bit but I'm going to be using 8mm so I've got an 8mm brad point drill bit I've got a small pencil which is 7.2 millimeters so I'm going to be using a 7 millimeter drill bit for drilling the scent hole from a pencil but one thing you have got to do with these is this is a, the 6 inch one obviously the center of that is 3 inches Yeah, you have to make sure that your holes where your dowels go are exactly equal from your center point so these are an inch and a half away from the center point. All I'm going to do now is drill the outer holes out with the 8mm drill bit. I'm going to drill all the way through. I've got my drill press set up here with a scrap of wood underneath so that when I drill through it doesn't blow through the back of the wood. I'm going to drill all the way through, put a dab of glue in it and then push the dowels in. I'm just going to crack on with that now. Right, I'm just going to drill up, change the drill bit now to the 7mm for the size of the pencil. You'll have to check the size of your own pencils, it's just that I've checked the size of mine and it was 7mm. Right, then as you can see, I've got all my holes drilled and my pieces of wood. So all I'm going to do now is just glue the dowels in. I mean these dowels don't really need gluing in because they are a tight fit once they go in. I'm just going to put a little dab of glue around the bottom. and then push them into the holes. Like so. They don't even need to go all the way through the piece of wood. You can just put them in so far. It's only that piece what rests on the on the wood to glide it along. But you've seen me do one, I'm just gonna put the rest in as a push fit now. Like so. You've got your both your dowels in. 
Right, I've got the doles in and the piece of wood. So you just get your pencil and push it through the centre hole. You only have to have it just barely poking through, just enough to mark the wood. Obviously, you've got you can't push it in too far and get it lodged in there because you've got to get the pencil back out to sharpen it. I suppose you could do it with uh, a sharp nail and keep that in there permanently, and then just draw your pencil line down the score line. But uh, that's what it ends up looking like. And obviously, you've got your six-inch one. And then your 12 inch one, you can just take the pencil out and change it in between jigs. It's not too hard to do. So it ends up like so. I'll just find a piece of wood a minute. So you've got a piece of wood. So you get your piece of wood and you get your pencil, hold it tight against the edges and just draw a line straight down like so, I don't know if you can see that line on there yeah uh, you won't actually be able to go all the way to the end with this you'll have to take over that bit and get a ruler and just join it up to the end but that's easy enough to do you can see the line on there just get your ruler follow that straight edge what you just mark with your pencil and finish your line off. Well, yeah, that's the uh, centering jig for marking your center lines up. If you've got any questions you'd like to ask me, please leave a comment in the section down below. Uh, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching.